Indian man arrested for insulting the Prophet Muhammad. On October 12th, Jay or Jai Prakash Mohanty was arrested in Uttarakhand, uh, Uttarakhand, India, for social media posts insulting the Prophet Muhammad. Mohanty was arrested by uh, now gun police after receiving a written complaint about his Facebook post. According to the police, quote, evidence was found of controversial posts made by Mohanty on Facebook slandering not only the Prophet Muhammad, but gods of other religions too. He has been booked under three sections of the Indian Penal Code and the Information Technology Act. Um, According to the Brookings, the Brookings Institute, Islamic countries are most notable for violence and arrests for Facebook posts over the last decade include Bangladesh, Egypt, Indonesia, Iran, Tunisia, United Arab Emirates, and Pakistan. Russia tops the list of non-Islamic countries that criminalize online blasphemy, followed by India and Myanmar. So I wanted to talk about this because... One, I think, I can, okay, obviously on this channel, we think it's patently absurd that anyone would be arrested for insulting the Prophet Muhammad. Duh. Okay, that's obviously the stance that we take on this channel. But two, given the context of all the stuff going on in India, I just find it kind of fascinating that people are getting arrested for insulting the Prophet Muhammad. I mean... There might, in some ways, show. it could. What did you it's say? So, it's such a shit show. It's so messy. <laughs> like we are, like people are like discriminating against Muslims and arresting people for blaspheming their prophets. <laughs> like it's just like it's uh, you guys, India, amazing. <laughs> like the worst of all sides, the worst of every side, basically. You just go to the extreme on. Your anti-Muslim bigotry and also <laughs> submitting to Islamic values. You somehow managed to figure exactly. out the worst of both positions. <laughs> both the <laughs> oh my God. it's it's um that that's a very good point, Armin. Like, how do you manage to accomplish both? In a way, it is kind of its own bizarre. <laughs> um it's 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 its own bizarre accomplishment because it's 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 how do you how do you manage to do both? Selva Kumar is saying arrest in Hindu land against blasphemy against Muhammad. <laughs> yes. Um the other thing that I find really funny about this that I think is important to mention is that so one of the um areas of the penal code that this guy was arrested under is IPC number two nine five A which is the area of the penal code that we have had levied against us, Armin. And what's interesting about this is I uh, think that let, this wait, is- Wait, wait, let people know, people don't know. Me and Susanna have had these police reports filed against us in India. And we've been taken to court in India for, for stuff like this. So yes. just for people who are new here. But yeah, go on. <laughs> and um, so- this area of the penal code is so problematic because last week we talked about how there was a mosque in India where like 200 people stormed the mosque and started beating people up because of like a conspiracy that they were doing an expansion of the mosque. And um, they, the people who were arrested in that case were booked under the same area of the penal code. They were booked under... 295A, and they were also booked for other things. But one of the things that they were booked for was 295A. This guy was booked under 295A. I think it's such a problem that you can, it, this area of the penal code is so broad that it can cover both someone making a Facebook post and someone who goes in, barges into a, a religious building and starts assaulting people <laughs> like that's a very poorly defined I don't know area of the penal about. code they're if it can cover both i don't know what you're talking about they're the exact same thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, so but how do you um, but I, I wonder if some some hindus and some hindutva would have an aha moment about how bad these laws are because they celebrate these laws when 
they they go against the people who insult their gods and goddesses and they cry foul when some when they're used against Islam. They're like oh my god we're submitting to Islam. we're submitting to the religion of our oppressors right like these like th these are the people who like attacked us and murdered us and now we're like we're still under their knees you know so i mean i'm not saying that by the way youtube i'm not saying any of that okay but that's the image that comes to their mind so i don't know which is it do you want so this is this is why hindu rush right like they unashamedly like okay we want this to be one side you understand we are not we're, we're not like the christians in the united states who are like hypocrites about this we are like uh, you know, uh, without shame, coming in and like, yeah, we want anti, we want laws that support Hinduism and no other religion. Actually, Christians say that in, in United States as well. I'll take that back. But go on. So, well, okay, I think some people, especially right wingers, might support this on the basis of if the communalism angle. So the whole kind of his, a lot of the historical context behind laws like this and other laws is basically in an effort to prevent communal disharmony and basically in an effort to prevent um communal violence um and, and so i can imagine right-wing people could be supporting this on that level because when they're extremely communal and tribal and um they can also utilize that logic for their own purposes. That is true. You are correct. There are some Hindutva who actually support this. Okay, they're like, yes, let's not insult Prophet Muhammad because they know that they won't, don't want their gods and goddesses to be insulted as well. They're like, yeah, sure, whatever. Throw these people in the jail. Um, in jail. But actually, this is a very Islamic argument that they have because the Quran says, like, don't insult oh, other people's right. religion yeah the quran says don't insult other people's religions because if they do they might insult the law so these this is very interesting but what do you think how let's let's actually Susanna, let's try to challenge ourselves okay mm. what if like ideally ideally it's a good idea that people have free speech okay but we have to understand that not every country is ready for it in our dogmatic belief in maximizing free speech everywhere and all, at all times, we might be prescribing something that would be disastrous for India, given the sensitivities that exist there. If we just had no laws in India where you could insult Muhammad and insult the gods and everybody just would really like you going after each other's religions, you would have blood in the street. You would have people just coming after each other's, you know, lives instead of just like the this law, okay, is in replacement of people going after each other's lives. So it's not good that people are going in jail for this, but it might actually be saving lives. What about that argument? Oh, that was a good argument. Hey, you have to think about it. So I did a good devil's advocate. Well, especially when you're talking about historical context, like there's a whole reason why we have these things. There's like the way that like, for example, like personal law, Hindu personal law, Muslim personal law, Parsi personal law, all this stuff in India, like exists today in, in a vacuum. It doesn't make sense. But for what it was trying to address at the time in historical context, it makes sense why they would create it does it still fit today that's a conversation that is being had within india um and so it's similar with are you saying the, the british understood how to come up with rules more than in, in, in the hindus indians because there's no those are the people <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just going woke on you like this is like yeah Susanna is confirming that white people are <laughs> are more capable of coming up with laws for India than Indians themselves. Wait, no, that wouldn't that'd be like the reverse woke because you're ascribing the superiority to the imperialists. No, I'm I'm as a woke, I'm calling you out on it. I'm being woke by calling you out. That you're like, oh, this laws made sense at the time. Well, you know who put those laws there? The British. What are you I'm talking not even about? I'm not necessarily <laughs> saying that they made sense at the time. I'm saying that they were attempting to correct something at the time and whether or not it was the right thing or not like there was a context in which what for what they were trying to correct 
the conversation about whether certain nations are ready for certain values or constructions within their law and government is a genuine question that needs to be had because right. um in many instances it's not the case um there has to be a certain level of values within the population itself to be able to maintain these principles within its construction of law like a population having a value and appreciation for the rule of law is itself a prerequisite for the maintenance of these things right and in many instances that's not actually available so the, the trying to institute these principles within the law is going to fail um It's tough because within this instance, the problem is that, okay, maybe in India, there are instances of people actually going after people's lives over this stuff. That's a fact. It's not as severe as in other countries, but it does still happen. People could say that these laws make sure, help influence people so that that happens less, but it does still happen. And we are seeing an uptick, a massive uptick within the past year of these laws being weaponized against people for personal vendettas, which is exactly what happens in Pakistan. And it's, it, it, you know, this is one of many instances of the Pakistanization of India, which is extremely unfortunate. Um, so I think it is, a, it is an important question and you can't answer it one way for all countries or nations. I don't know, what, what do you think? And how would you have answered your own? Oh, easy, 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 so easy, okay? <laughs> let, me, let me give you a trick, okay? When it comes to complicated questions like this, okay? I don't know. See, I just, answered it in half a second you had to work so hard but i just made it very easy okay next time try that it's actually it, even though even though it's so much easier it people appreciate it for some reason where you just claim that you don't know things mm -hmm. um well that is way, essentially i guess i guess that's what i said but i yeah. provided more information <laughs> Yeah, true, true, true. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. By the way, don't I'm sometimes I'm you know, I'm not being serious when I'm like calling you out to stuff. But no, no. talking about calling you out, I won. Like Wok Warun gave us a two dollar super chat and said <laughs> Armin got um, woke yeah. score, Armin plus one, Susanna zero. I'm gonna keep trying to add to that. Uh Varun, did I read this one? Yes, I did already. And this is very true. I believe in this. I think this will improve <laughs> Shut everything. up. No, I'm, I'm genuinely think that I would this would improve anything. So everything. No man is saying, British, please take India back. By the way, this is coming from India. Okay, a lot of people in India are like, please, yes, everything was ruined. No, since. no man is Pakistani. Gone. Well, back then they were. It is technically okay. India. <laughs> That's saying, yeah, so you mean India, basically. Okay, first of all, before British coming back oh and taking God. India back, India should come and take Pakistan back and Bangladesh. It's a mess. Fix, bring it all back together and then become, go back on. Okay, but have you seen the UK right now? They are in no position to be telling they anyone are. anything. They are far. Okay, their crisis is heaven in, in India. Okay, that's how far they are. Okay. I'm sorry to India and everyone who is, lives there. UK's hell is India's heaven. Okay, and <laughs> and and God, to make it <laughs> to make it to make it uh, to make it less hateful because a lot of you might be offended. I will say this: I'm Iranian. Okay, India's hell is Iran's heaven. See, not about hating on people, just acknowledging facts. Um, okay, you know now with Rishi, Rishi Sunak in charge. Now might be the perfect opportunity. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. No, this is what you should It's come going no. the reverse. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is how you should attack me. I like Armin. India, it, it, UK doesn't need to come and take India when India is coming and taking the UK. <laughs> like, like we are like, what are you talking about, Armin? We're taking over England. This is gonna be our bad. <laughs> yeah, like okay, yeah. You were making Numan the is UK correcting our own and backyard. saying he's saying that he's Indian. I am sorry. Okay, I thought you were Pakistani for some reason. My bad. Yeah, why did he assume? Um, You're so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I Should support we... the independence of India. Okay, for the record. No. Wait, what? Yes. You don't. What? What, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I think India should take back Pakistan, but I like a free India. <laughs> no, actually, I actually take I, I I do support United Kingdom being taken over by India. I genuinely do support that. <laughs> I do. No, you, you seriously, I think like the Europe. Okay, so here's hear me out. Okay, um, I think Europe is if Europe becomes Islamized. Okay, we need a force to be able to tackle that. So a UK and a Hinduize, a Hindu, we could take this battle within India. We could make it the cross European bat war. Okay, we could have that in North America, right? So we'll have United States and Canada. The Canada will be taken over by the Sikhs, and United States <laughs> would be united states would be a mix of hindus and muslims right so we could have a battle over there and then for europe for europe we have france and germany taken over by muslims and the uk taken over by hindus and we could then have a war between you know another world war between muslims and hindus but now outside of india it would be interesting <laughs> <laughs> Not, saying, it would be interesting <laughs> you're so deranged <laughs> varun is saying two dollar super chat by varun saying replace union jack by cow oh uh, no i had a picture of the new indian flag new, new uk flag okay. a, oh i don't so have it wild. anymore Shit. We had a new UK flag that it was Indianized. The colors were turned into the the whole. Yeah, I should. F I'll find it. I'll send it to. You. I'll, I'll have it ready for the next show. It would Why be pretty I... easy to turn the, in the white of the Union Jack. Like it'd be easy to turn that into like the shape of a, a a cow's head. I feel like it'd be very easy to like change it to a silhouette. Yeah. Varun saying England is new India, France is new Pakistan. Yes, exactly. And then we could have a war. The holy war. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can we clap for the next news? Um wait, let me am I on the right news? Oh no, this is not okay. Um nah, this is crazy. Wait, let me fix let me let me check. Yeah. God damn it, come on. I hope I could find it. Oh, I found it. I found it. This is the new UK flag. Oh, I'm so happy I found it. Um, give me a second because it's not saving it the way it should. So I have to copy the image and do it like this. Sorry. Okay. Look. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Could you have imagined, like seriously, when the British were ruling over India, okay? And you were, you said one day, the prime minister of the UK would be an Indian man. 
Okay, people will slap you. You're like, well, people will slap you. We're like, what are you talking about? Right? <laughs> oh, people hate it. <laughs> like, yeah, like somewhere in this one. It is. The colors like so. look, I don't know. The colors don't look good when they're in that construction. They look so much better when they're in this Indian flag, but to see them like contrasting no, like this and it's not as good. No, the colors of Indian flag look bad regardless of whatever shape. Oh <laughs> no, like, I, honest, like, you're like no, come on. The Indian flag has a really bad taste. Like whoever designed it did not know understand how to mix colors with each other. Like seriously, like the reason why people are picking is not because of the the way that they're put together. It's the colors are like this, these, these are puke colors. Like these are literally I disagree. Color. I don't like them. I don't like the colors. Okay. I think orange and green don't go with each other. We're making new fans here today. <laughs> yes. okay. This is why we don't grow. <laughs> Guys, I'm joking. Wait, I'm not joking about the colors, but the colors are a personal taste. You just because I don't like it, that doesn't mean anything. Okay. Um, Varun is saying two dollar super chat. Varun, you're giving us so many super chats today. Battle of hashtags to battle of the curry. I don't understand what it means. Do you know what it means? No. Well, presumably meaning I don't know, just talking about the food of South Asia. This was the ca uh, comment that for some stupid reason I read hashtag. I don't know why I misread this. So Varun was comparing what I said with said that with the battle of hash Hastings to the battle of curry and Hastings. And I misread this as hashtag. So I just wanted to because it was Oh, I didn't chat. even catch that. <laughs> yeah. I, because it was a super chat, I wanted to go back and correct it. Apologize. I apologize for misreading it. Oxymoron mentioned something about the Indian flag. And I know this is not the Indian flag, but something about the colors, which is interesting. Um, I actually do remember reading about this a long time ago, but Oxymoron reminded me about it. I, I forgot to highlight the comment. He said the green is for Muslims, the saffron is for Hindus, mm -hmm. and the white is for everyone else. But mm -hmm. I also remember reading that the wheel is for Buddhists. Am I right about that? Somebody can correct me in the live chat if I'm... Correct. I've heard many different things about the wheel. So the wheel could be Buddhists. I mean, because it's like a wheel of Dharma. Okay, I will take and the back the wheel my... also comes from the eight eightfold path. So there's you know many what? different interpretations. I Guys, I, I would take back my comments regarding the colors. I do think, okay, just to be honest, these three colors could look good with each other. Okay. I just don't like I don't think the, the mix of the fourth color, I think this is like a huge contrast with the deviates from these three like there is a way but I, honestly like it's a matter of taste i didn't even, if you guys i don't want to make people upset like too upset <laughs> about this. Yeah. okay uh, i'm just and just being genuine okay overall i think these three colors can work with each other but this really harsh blue right next to these three i think this could have been picked a better color also this i don't opinion. think that this orange in this photo is the proper orange on the okay, indian this, flag the proper orange on the Indian flag is more of like a deeper saffron than this like pumpkin orange. Let me see. In, in my recollection, in my opinion. Oh, wait, in this, it looks pretty identical. Oh, uh oh, I maybe take back what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the, the wheel ruined it for me. I think you could have made these three work with each other. I don't have a problem with it. When it's in the form of a Union Jack, all the triangles contrasting and stuff, I think, makes it a visual nightmare. But just like this, this I love it. <laughs> Michael is saying, you don't want to make anyone upset? Why start now? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't want... Oh I just feel God. like... I just feel... Okay, here's the thing. Because sometimes people might think, like, I am... I'm trying, I, I'm just having fun with you guys, okay? Like, don't think like I'm trying to poke at you just for the sake of making you upset, okay? I, I'm just assuming that a lot of the people who follow Atheist Republic are people who know that we can't be fool around sometimes and we joke around. But the reason why, the reason why I um, got concerned about that is because I 
keep assuming that we these are the regular people that watch our show. But then I remember that we um, had previous shows about good things happening in India, and we excited a lot of people about our positive coverage of things that happen in India. And it breaks my heart to think like, like they were like, oh, this is nice. This is a channel that is highlighted. And so the new ideas that comes here, and then all of a sudden seeing seeing me that I'm talking, I just I just felt like heartbroken thinking about their disappointment you know so that's why i felt guilty and i just wanted to like correct that <laughs> i love this thoughtfulness and sensitivity from you armin this is this yeah. is good this is good no. this is good <laughs> i i i this is my impact <laughs> hey okay sure. this is my legacy <laughs> yes true it's true it's true, it's true. okay you're like we're not um, always edgy humor I, Armin's like, I'm not always an edge lord. Look, talking about edge lords, look at this, look at this subtle, <laughs> look at this subtle <laughs> jab in India. Like good things in India, ha 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 ha. Sure, I'm coming from somebody from India. See, it's not just me that makes fun of India like that. Okay, it's also people from India. Um. <laughs> Alexis, like, why, why can't why can't we just have why couldn't this we just have we this? Can't have nice things. <laughs> like we just we just lasted for ten seconds of wholesomeness before we we pissed upon it. Okay. It's so hard for someone that has a soft heart like me. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.